Hey, fifth grade, how are you? Uh, well, um, today's May 4th, so you're doing the May 4th video. You know, you probably already did the May the Force Be With You. Remember that one? You're probably watching that today. Okay, so this is for next uh, Monday, the 11th. So you'll see up here, we have Monday, May 11th, and we are finishing module three. So it's kind of a, I mean, there's quite a few pages to do, but it's going to be pretty quick for you because pretty much the whole thing's about area, okay? And I know you guys are already good at that. So let me just review. Volume equals length times width times height, okay? Because we're adding height. We're actually adding three dimensions. Remember, length times width gives you like area, almost like surface area, where we're just talking about two-dimensional area. Um, so we add height. Here's my not so great prism. Okay, so we have length times width and then we have height. Okay, and you know, with this, we're using the commutative property where it doesn't matter what order when you multiply. If you're just multiplying numbers, you can do them in any order and you will get the same answer. Okay. Um, what I need you to do is, this is page 239 in your student book. Got a good view. So if you wanna pause this and write all this information in, you can do that right now. Uh, we were supposed to do this um, in school with actual prisms, three-dimensional objects, but obviously we're not doing that. So I gave you some length, width, and height, and I need you to find the volume and then answer the questions below. Okay? So when you have a chance, you can pause the video and do that page. Okay? So overall, we have student book 239 and 240. 241 is a workplace. I'm not doing that right now. Uh, then we have 242 to 245, okay? And then HC, Home Connections 127 and 128, which is a lot of, they put a lot of review stuff you've done before on these two pages. So I don't think you'll have trouble with it. Um, Actually, I'm looking at, I was looking at it before and it looks like um, some of it's some pretty easy fun. But go ahead and do those pages. Like I said, today's kind of an easier day. You do have quite a few pages to do. However, um, we're finishing module three. I did not want to go in. Module four is a little bit different. I didn't want to enter module four today. So we're finishing module three. Get that done. Actually, Module 4 will be um, Wednesday the 13th, and we're going to do it all in one day, Module 4, because we don't need to do all of it. We're going to do Module 4 all in one day. So a week from Wednesday, uh, we will be done with Unit 6, okay? A week from Wednesday. So the 13th, we finish up, of course, you have to do the pages along with it, but we finish up Unit 6, and... Um, there will be um, some kind of assessment coming, I believe, for Unit 6. And uh, Dr. Couture will talk to you later about that. Uh, she's still coming up with what she wants you to be assessed on. So anyway, uh, Unit 6, within about 10 days, Unit 6 is all done. And we will begin that following week with Unit 7 which should take us to the end of the year to complete, okay? So signing off at Studio B. Hi, everybody, and goodbye. Have a great week, a great weekend again. We'll see ya.